Hello, this is Cuckoo. I was recently in Holland and got the opportunity to visit this place in Arnhem called Hack 42. It's a space for electronic music machine enthusiasts and DIY makers of all types. In their collections of vintage but still functional computers, game consoles, peripherals and synths, I got the feeling I was in the right place. A makerspace like this relies on the community. For a very little fee you can take part in this and get help learning how to use tools as such as 3D printers, laser cutters, soldering equipment, just hang out with fellow nerds. Got to see some gems like these things here, and I myself have brought my Digitac 2, which initially felt kinda out of place in this very analog and vintage collection. But after some hellos and setting up, we slowly got into a spontaneous jam, which you're listening to right now. We didn't have a clear plan before we started jamming, so it took a little while to sort of stake out our roles. But since I brought the dig attack, I felt like taking a rhythmical approach to start with. I made sure to stay on the alert and give the others as much space as possible, while also providing a comfortable, open but interesting rhythmical foundation for the jam. The fellow next to me plugged in a MIDI cable to my dig attack and I sequenced a few notes to him with a 60% probability of triggering the synth tricks that he was playing. On the right we've got Geis who organised my trip to Holland, vibing on the Osmos over there, and the maker of the new MPE synth controller called Striso, Striso, playing his own creation. This is the only video I got of the jam, and I didn't sync up the sound to this particular take in case you're wondering. I think we got into the zone, there's something special about getting to know someone through jamming with them. I feel like I got a little closer to them after this jam. The beautiful golden box in the middle is a tape delay with a tape inside of it fluttering away. Thank you so much for watching. If you appreciate my work, you can support me on Patreon and gain access to my downloads too in doing so. Getting my sound packs in my web store is also a great way to support my work. Thank you everyone for keeping my channel alive.